Hello class. So in this video I want to show you how to export from SketchUp. Now I will encourage you to instead of exporting from SketchUp directly to export from Enscape and I will show how to do those steps in a different video. However I know sometimes that's not possible depending on the situation of things and so I want to give this backup method. Is it, You can get a pretty good job by exporting right from SketchUp if you follow these steps. Uh, it's just not as good or as fun as doing it from Enscape. So if you're going to do it from SketchUp then watch this video. If not, don't worry about this video. So we have selected our view. We did that in the last video. And basically we just wanted a few things to get this set up. Since this assignment will be to really make the rendering look as real as possible, one of the things we're going to want to do is turn off the lines of our drawing. Uh, because the real world doesn't have lines, it just has materials. So you'll go ahead to do that. You can go up to View, Edge Styles, Uncheck Edges, and Uncheck Profiles, and you can see the lines have now disappeared. So, and then the other thing uh, that you want to do before exporting that I would recommend, it doesn't have to be done, but it could help, is if you have a, a, a blue sky or a gray field or whatever you have back there, changing it to a single color, white for example, but it really could be any single color, will just help you a little bit in Photoshop. So if you want to do that, you can go to your styles, which are going to be over here. And if you can't find styles in this list, again, go to Windows Default Tray and pull up your styles. And then you'll go to Edit, and which by the way, you can undo uh, edges and profiles there as well. And you're going to come to this third button right here under Edit, which is the background settings, and you can uncheck sky. Now, in this case, mine went to uh, default to a gray uh, color, which is fine. Gray will be just fine to export. But if you want to change it, you could just click on it and change the color this way. I'll leave it as gray because I think, I think that's fine here. Um, and then to export it, you'll just go File, Export 2D Graphic. You want to select JPEG here, because we're going to make them a JPEGs, which is what Photoshop can handle. And then you'll go to Options. And in Options, by default, this will be checked, which is Use Screen Size. If that's checked, you're not going to get a very high quality out of it. You can get much higher quality if you uncheck it. So go ahead and uncheck it. And you could take the biggest number uh, that you have. And if you want to make it as large as possible, you would set this to 4.9, which is the, the, the most SketchUp can do that's actually going to be larger than you need it to be uh, but so it doesn't have to be quite that big but uh, or around that setting and then if if uh, if you don't have your dial down here set up all the way to best quality or better quality go ahead and do that and say okay then hit the export button and you'll have it exported ready to go in photoshop so with that i will see you in in the in the photoshop and we'll move on to the next step of the assignment there